uh, distinguished guests, uh, contributors, ladies and gentlemen. Um, it's a great privilege for me to uh, wrap up what's been a very stimulating and thought-provoking edition of Singapore, of the Singapore Economic Policy Forum. Um, throughout the day, we've had the opportunity to bring together a series of incisive contributions um, from academia, the private sector, as well as members of the government to discuss and think through a number of important issues for Singapore. I've only been able to attend the last session, but I think that exemplified um, certainly those comments. Each session has offered fresh perspectives on some of the key economic issues of our time, your active participation, whether through sharing your insights or learning from each other's diverse experiences, has certainly elevated the quality of the discussions. As we look to the future, I'm confident that the ideas and connections forged here will enhance our collective efforts to shape well-grounded policies that strengthen Singapore's economic resilience. And on behalf of Singapore Management University, I would like to thank each and all of you for your invaluable contributions that you've made to today's forum. Uh, today, we discussed how secular trends facing the global economy present both risks and opportunities to climate technology and improve productivity. And I'd like to underscore an attribute that will position Singapore for continued success. This quality is what we might call economic dynamism. Our society's ability to bring together diverse stakeholders from business, government and academia to share insights to mitigate risks, as well as to find solutions to generate strategies that drive growth. Such collaboration enables us to mobilize our collective intellectual strengths to chart a future path that continues to drive growth while forging a social compact that prioritizes social cohesion and stability. As Singapore's university that specializes in management and social sciences and technology, we aim to nurture a pool of graduates with a firm grasp of major economic challenges and growth opportunities for Singapore and the region. Within this context, we as a university identified three strategic priorities, which we believe are pivotal to Singapore and the world's new economic conditions. These are digital transformation, sustainable living and growth in Asia. And they serve as cross-disciplinary focal points that cut across our educational programs, our research, as well as our global engagement. And they produce novel insights and perspectives that we believe prepare our students for the future needs of Singapore, as well as the region at large. If Singapore is to thrive in the face of global challenges and is to harness opportunities in an, in, in an interconnected world, we believe it will need a cadre of innovators, entrepreneurs and professionals who are adept at creative thinking in an age of digitalization, as well as people who appreciate the criticality of sustainability and who can both navigate and contribute to Asia's growth. Likewise, our faculty through their research make meaningful impact through contributing insights, ideas and innovations in the forging of a digitally connected and sustainable world. In closing, I'd like to thank Professor Euston Kwa and the Economic Society of Singapore for their collaboration and partnership in this event, as well as the Ministry of Education for its strong support today. To all our participants, I wish you all the best as you return to your institutions, and I very much hope that you leave with new perspectives and connections that have arisen from today's discussions and events. I very much hope that these connections and these insights that you've gained will inspire you to making positive impact in your future professional endeavours. Thank you very much, everyone.